Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days, and today I'm going to show you how I make collie rice. I've been asked from a subscriber, um, Becky, if I would show how I make collie rice. And it's, it's super simple, and I know once you see it, you're going to go, oh yeah, I can do this, <laughs> okay? Because I would much rather make it myself than to buy it pre-made. Um, to me, it just makes more sense. Again, I know what's in there. I know what it's been preserved with. Um, I trust nobody but myself. So, let me show you how we do it really quick. What you need is cauliflower and a food processor. Okay, so I'm going to take the cauliflower and basically carve it into little pieces. Okay, so I will take these florets and just drop them right in there. This was a pretty small head of cauliflower. Uh, when I went, uh, when I was at Walmart, they didn't have any really big ones. But... Okay, so we're going to break those up as much as we can. Because of the size of this particular head, I should be able to get it all into the food processor with one easy pass. We shall see. If not, you break it up into a couple different tries. Okay, I put the lid on. I'm not used to doing this. There we go. Okay, so now I've got it on. Are you ready? Whoop. Let's see. Turn it on, Lace. There we go. We're going to pulse. Okay, so it's all breaking down. I'm going to turn it on real quick. Now when you rice cauliflower, basically what you are doing is you are cutting it up into rice-like size, okay? See that? So it mimics rice in its size, in its texture, and sometimes that can make a really big deal when you're doing different meals. Um, this will come in handy this week, part of my meal prep for this week is um, keto chicken fried rice and I will end up using all of this for that so that Phil and I have at least a couple meals out of all of this and that's the awesome part about it is about a cup we use about a cup per serving this is probably three to four cups of collie rice okay um, so for a couple of bucks that I spent on the cauliflower you know, it's a great nutritional value, much better than rice. Same consistency. You can do pretty much the same stuff with it, and it tastes great. But that's how simple and easy it is. Poof! You have collie rice. Collie rice. I mean, does it get any simpler? It really doesn't. This is, this is just a wonderful, wonderful staple in a keto kitchen. It really is. What do you do with your collie rice? Leave it in the description box below. I'm always looking for new ideas, new ways to implement it into our meal plan. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until the next time, be safe.